All right, hey there everybody, this is Mr. Nathan. Just gonna do a really quick lesson on the song Rose um, by D.O. So one of my students just um, recommended the song to me or suggested the song to me. I'd never heard it before. Um, so I've heard it a couple times. So we'll just go through all the parts. There's really three parts that you need to learn to be able to play the song. Super catchy um, song. Uh, a, a great song for acoustic playing. And if you're just getting started and you're just really comfortable with open chords, um, this is a great song for that. There's a couple chords that are a little tricky, but I think you'll be able to do really well with it. So um, with the verse, let's go ahead and just take a listen to the verse real quick. Got the song pulled up here. Okay, so we're not going to go um, into a lot of detail um, to like every specific thing he's playing, but um, really what I like to do is just get the basics um, to my students so that they can start playing along with these songs that they love. So um, there might not be 100% uh, accuracy in every single thing he's doing, especially when you hear the strumming pattern. Um, it's a, it's a, maybe a little bit hard for you if you're trying to play along and you're just kind of getting started, but I'll give you the basics so that you can play along with the song and then as much as you want to get further into it to learn every single note, every single chord he's playing, then you should just keep going if you love the song and want to play it just like he's playing it. But for the verse, we've got a C, a C chord, and then an F chord. Now I play, I, I'm going to play an F here, uh, so avoiding the bar chord, if that's something that's a little hard for you, you could play the bar chord. Or you could just take a C chord, add your pinky or your uh, five finger right below your ring finger on the D string, and then move your middle finger down a string to the G string. And that's the essence of a bar chord for the F, just missing that first fret um, low E string note with the F. So we still have an F here. And that's a little closer to a C. Here's the C, and there's the F. So I would go. G this way where I just move my middle and ring up and bring my pinky down just because that's easier to go from an A minor than switching everything like that but it just goes to a G so whatever's comfortable for you then a G then an E minor then an F then a G so let's do that verse together just a little slower than the track one two your verse for the song. So let's move on to the chorus. Let's give it a listen. Also, if you haven't seen the music video, um, I don't have it on the screen right now, but you, you should you should Google it or look it up on YouTube. It's it's really it's really funny because it's it's the footage of him riding around on a bike, but it's got animation um, just kind of woven through it, which is really, really cool to see. Okay, 
Okay, and then it goes back to the verse. So we start with the D minor, G, then C, and we step down, and all I do is I put my middle finger on the second fret A string, and I strum everything else. It's a G over B chord, but you can just take your C, move your middle finger up, and then it goes to an A minor. So, G, C, down, A minor. Then again, D minor, G, C, step down, A minor, F, G, E minor, A minor, D minor, G, and then it goes back into the verse. So let's try that. So first we have a D minor, G, C, step down, A minor, back to D minor, G, C, step down, A minor, then F, G, E minor, A minor, D minor, and then G. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a try. We'll play a little slower than the track. So this is our chorus section. All right, so you're almost two thirds of the way done with learning the song Rose. All right, here we go with the D minor. One, two, a one, two, ready, and. Step down, A minor, D minor, G, C, step down, A minor, F, G, E minor, A minor, D minor, then G. And then it goes back into the verse. So you've got your verse, then a chorus, verse, and a chorus, and then finally there's a bridge section. So let's listen to that bridge section. back to the chorus. So in the bridge section we have an A minor. So it's kind of like what we do for the chorus where we go C, step down, A minor. We just go in reverse. So we go A minor, step up, C, and then this is probably going to be the hardest chord if we want to get close to the song is an A over C sharp. So usually if you're learning guitar you're learning to play an A with three fingers like this or like this. This one you need to actually bar the G, the D, G, and B string with your pointer finger because you need your ring finger on the A string fourth fret to make the C sharp. So here's an A. Now you could play that and it would still fit with the track because you've got everything else in the track helping you out. But it'll sound a little weird if you're playing on your own. The C sharp is what makes that climb up those notes happen. Okay, without, with it. So that's worth really, really trying to work at. And you really have to squeeze down on those strings with your pointer finger. And my thumb is pushing on the back of the fretboard. So it's not like my thumb is not hanging out here. That's really hard for my pointer finger to get pressure. So I push my thumb almost right behind my pointer finger to get that pressure. Then I can, and I'm squeezing it with my palm too. I'm really squeezing. The guitar is really firmly in my palm there. So I'm really squeezing so that I can get my ring finger over over there. So you're going A minor, step up to G over B, C, A over C sharp. Then it's a D minor seven, where I play my middle finger on G string, second fret, and then I bar my pointer finger, B and E string on the first fret. Or you could just play a D minor. That'll work fine. And then he just takes that D minor seven and puts a root of G, but you could just play a G or a G seven. So let's do it kind of the simplified version. A minor, step up, C, A over C sharp, D minor, then a G seven, then back again, A minor, step up, C, A over C sharp, D minor, then G7. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and try and play in with it. Here's the bridge section. All right, here we go. How are you doing? You doing well? <laughs> it's a great song. It's really catchy. And I love finding songs that are approachable, that, um, you know, they're really catchy. The melody's great, but it also lets um, someone who's just starting to learn out, uh, learn to play guitar, kind of jump into it and play along with it. So here's the bridge section. I'll start right before it. Here we go. A minor. All right, so let's go ahead and play that bridge section. Then you have all the pieces. It go, comes back to the chorus that we worked on with that second part. So here's the bridge. Let's go a little slower than the track. One. And there you go. So that's really all you're gonna need to know to play along. Now again, if you wanna dive deeper and go into exactly how he's playing, where he's playing on the fretboard um, and all that, you should do that and really explore the song if, if you uh, love the song. Um, but if you're wanting to just play along with it, that's kind of the basics to get you there so you can play along with it. So practice those sections with me, slow down the, the video if you need to in those parts where we play the whole section through a little slower pace. Build up your, your, your accuracy first, then the speed will come, and then you can play along with it, and then you can start messing around with the strumming. Um, but just to play along with a song that's catchy and, and sounds great, I think that's all you'll need. So hopefully that was helpful, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe the page so we can keep making videos like this. And if you have other songs um, from Dio or anyone uh, that you want to see covered on the channel as a tutorial, as a little lesson to help you get started, just comment below and uh, we can make those videos for you. All right, hope that was helpful. Good to see you. We'll see you next time. Bye.